Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and I am so excited for this one because obviously we've got new Flame Swordsman cards. It's now an archetype, like a full archetype. And if you've been watching the channel, you know Joey's one of my favorite characters, if not the, probably the fa my, my most favorite character. And Flame Swordsman would be up there in my top five favorite cards, I think. Red Eyes would obviously be first, Albar second. I'd have to have a little think about the others, but Flame Swordsman will be well and truly up there. I used to love it when I was a kid and watching it on the anime. Um, absolutely fantastic, so I'm so excited about this. And I just thought I would go through, and I know a lot of other content creators have done it, um, but we're just gonna go through and then speak about the cards, and um, yeah, I'll give you my opinion on them. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's get into it. So, I'm actually using masterdualmeta.com. Um, really good site. I think they got a TCG one coming soon. Really good site to get like all the like Master Duel stuff um, coming up, like new packs, leaks, stuff like that. Um, but it also obviously has some TCG stuff on there, so I'm um, really happy with that. So, starting off, we've obviously got Fighting Flame Swordsman. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one spell trap that mentions Flame Swordsman from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send one Flame Swordsman or one monster that mentions it from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard, except itself. Uh, and you can only use each effect of this card basically once per turn. So this card is really, really good. So obviously it's the normal summon of the deck and obviously you can add, so it's a, so you can Normal summon it, you get an add, and you get to Foolish. So it's kind of, in a way, like an, an Aluba and a Quem, almost mixed. So really, really cool that they made it like that. Um, I think this is a great starting point. Obviously, this was one of the first cards, I think the first swords, Swordsman card that was revealed. And yeah, gotta love it. I actually think that if you look on the face of this card, it actually looks really like Joey. So I actually think this is Joey. The artwork is kind of like, if you remember in one of the episodes in the first series, um, they have to go into their favorite cards. So like Yugi goes into Dark Magician, Taya goes into like Magician of Faith or something. And Joey actually becomes the Flame Swordsman. And I actually think that that's Joey. It looks so much like him, it's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, so again, really cool card. Um, moving on to the next one. Salamandra, the Flying Flame Dragon. So, while this card is equipped to a Flame Swordsman or a monster that, men or a monster that mentions it, the equipped monster gains 700 attack and you can only use each of the following effects of Salamandra, the Flying Flame Dragon, once per turn. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target one warrior monster you control, equip this card, to that monster you control as an equip spell. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Salamandra spell trap from your deck to your hand. So another really good card. So this one, when it goes to the graveyard, you'll be able to get to an add. So um, I know that the normal thing now, or the combo is like normal summon the flame swordsman, the first one, um, add a card, and then obviously link it off or use the new spell to put it to the graveyard. It sends this, this adds you something else. Um, so this is obviously a really cool card. Um, it goes in hand in hand with some of the other cards. Obviously I have already seen some of the other cards. That's why I'm so excited for this. Um, I like what they're doing as well, by the way, with like, they made the old school Gazelle and De Berthamet into like an actual com like viable deck. It's not the best deck, but you can play them. Do you know what I mean? And this might not end up being the best deck, but it's playable. Um, and you can mix it with loads of different stuff, and so I'm really excited for that. But so this card, um, it's cool that you can equip it. So obviously, the straight, straight away, the thing that comes to my mind is Infernoble. Um, so I will be trying that out, we'll be trying to mix it. I did just splash a lot of money to get all of the Infernoble cards and so all the stuff that I'm missing so that I can play this. But this also gives it an option to be played on its own. So um, yeah, really cool. Looking forward to that. So down next. So Mirage Swordsman. This is actually the one that I don't think is that good, depending on the build that you play. So uh, this is actually a retrain as well. There was actually a Mirage um, Knight as well, or something like that it was called. Um, if a face-up fire fusion monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your graveyard or your hand if it wasn't in the graveyard. 
At the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can destroy both battling monsters. If this card is destroyed by battle or another card's effect, you can special summon one level 7 or lower monster that is Flame Swordsman or mentions it from your deck or extra deck. Um, and obviously you can only use each effect of this card once per turn. So yeah, this one, because obviously so you're only really going to be activating this in the battle phase. So if, if your card gets destroyed, because there's not... I just don't think it's that good. Unless you're playing like Fire Kings, you can't trigger this yourself. Um, you don't really want to be popping your own cards. So I actually think this one is not great. But if you play like Fire King Flame Swordsman, then obviously this is going to be a good card to play in it because um, you obviously that whole deck is about popping stuff. And so this isn't your opponent doesn't have to pop it. Uh, so where it says... If a face-up fire fusion monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, it doesn't say your opponents, so obviously you can trigger this yourself. Um, but yeah, it's not for me. I don't think I would play this in like a pure swordsman or an infernoble swordsman. So um, yeah, we'll go on to the next one. Now, ultimate flame swordsman. I think this is my favorite artwork of all of them. Like he just looks like an absolute beast. Um, his sword is obviously a lot bigger than before. It just looks. Yeah, it just looks unbelievable. Um, so this is obviously the boss monster. This is the fusion. You can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. And if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. This is a quick effect if this card is equipped with an equip card. So again, so obviously this now is um, all about that last card. The Salamandra, the flying flame dragon. Obviously can equip to this whenever, once you finish your combo, equip it. And then obviously on your opponent's turn, this is now quick effect pop. And you're going to give them a little burn. So really good for like time and stuff like that. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles, you can double this card's attack until the end of this turn. And if you do, and if you destroy it during the end phase of this turn, you can only use each effect of ultimate flame swordsman once per turn. So again, obviously that last salamandra, the flying flame um, dragon it adds 700 attack which will both beef this up to 3-5 and then you'll be able to double it so you'll be able to put it to 7k it's absolutely outrageous so this is clearly an otk deck they've obviously made it so it's an otk deck um which is pretty cool um not gonna lie uh, i do like that it is kind of a bit similar to um the gaia deck so the Gaia deck they kind of beef each beef themselves up and then they pop cards and it's more of an otk build and this seems to be following suit a little bit um but yeah obviously this is the boss monster and yeah it's just yeah just again really really excited for these onto this one fighting flame dragon so this one as well i think this was the second card that was released and it was a bit confusing on what they were going to do um but except during the damage step quick effect, you can target one warrior fusion monster you control, equip this card from your field or graveyard to that monster you control as an equipped spell. You can only use this effect of fighting flame dragon once per turn. While this card is equipped to flame swordsman or a monster that mentions it, the equipped monster gains 700 attack and can make a second attack during each battle phase. So if you equip this to the ultimate flame swordsman, so after you've already equipped the first one, 700, that this puts it up to 4,200. Um, then obviously it's gonna, the Flame Swordsman is actually gonna double its attack to 8,400. Then you're gonna be able to attack twice. Like, that's just, that's game. Like, if you've got two things in attack, that should be game. That, that is more than enough for game. So, um, really cool. This is probably only a one-off though. Um, I don't know if I would want to do it much. The quick effect um, equip is kind of cool. It's kind of like Roland. So, um, or is it Oliver? No, it's Roland. Yeah, Captain Roland. Um, so it's kind of like quick effect. So you can do this on your opponent's turn, which is pretty cool. Um, and obviously you would be able to trigger Charles if he was, um, if he was playing the Infernoble build. So yeah, pretty cool. This would probably be a one-off. We're probably looking at like, if we just go through the cards real quick again, it's just like, this is probably a three of, this is probably one, two of, um, this I'd probably play zero, um, this two of, um, and then just one of these so far is what I would probably go for. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, so we'll move on to the next one. So Flame Swords Realm, again, the artwork looked absolutely unbelievable. Flame Swordsman looking like a boss with, um, 
obviously that the salamander dragon around him so this is obviously a continuous spell card <clears throat> Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when you normal summon a fire warrior monster. So it's kind of like lost, except from when you normal summon. So you can't be like ashed or veiled, um, or even impermed. Actually, you can't even be impermed if you have this and then you normal summon your fighting flame swordsman. So really, really cool. Once per turn, you can send one monster from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. Special summon one one flame swordsman from your extra deck. Um, and then that's pretty cool that it's treated as a fusion summon. So you would be able to like monster reborn it out of the graveyard. Once per turn, when a monster declares an attack, you can target one warrior monster you control until the end of this turn. It loses exactly 1000 attack, but all the other monsters you currently control gain 1000 attack. So this can be another way to boost up your um, ultimate flame swordsman because you can reduce something that you're not really going to attack with and then you can boost up your flames that even more so you could get it to 5500 and then obviously you double it you can get it to 11,000 attack which is absolutely crazy and attack twice it's absolutely mental um, but obviously so you, you can cheat out the flame swordsman with this and um, yeah so once you normal summon add this so normal summon fighting flame swordsman add this activate it then obviously you can send that to the graveyard to cheat out your flame swordsman and then your fighting flame swordsman will be able to send one to grave which would be the dragon and the dragon will be able to add you the probably the, what is the next card which is salamandra fusion again cool artwork um so this is like an equip fusion card which is pretty cool um but that could come in problems because you could like equip it and then someone can cosmic cyclone or twin twisters it away which could be annoying but um, it is what it is. Equip only to a fire warrior monster. It gains 700 attack. If the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy this card instead. So this kind of that effect where it, the card would, where ultimate flame swordsman would be destroyed in the end phase, this could protect it from that. So pretty cool. Um, you can send this card and the equipped monster to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one flame swordsman or one monster that mentions it from your extra deck. This is also treated as a fusion summon, which is pretty cool. So again, this is where you summon Fighting Flame Swordsman, um, you get Swords Realm, Swords Realm will send it to the graveyard to get Flame Swordsman out, and uh, Fighting Flame Swordsman will send the Salamandra um, monster. That will then add this, this you equip to the Flame Swordsman, and then you get rid of those to summon your ultimate Flame Swordsman, and then you equip your Salamandra from the grave to the Salamandra monster, to the ultimate flame swordsman and now you have a pop from one card basically so yeah pretty cool um this would probably be like a two off um i would say while we're doing that this is obviously a three off um because it's like a main component of the deck this is probably a two off just because it is searchable um by a couple of things so this card is actually so good i think it's really cool that we've got uh, a quick place a quick play spell that not only is a rotor because uh, you're going to activate one of these effects. Add one card from your deck to your hand that mentions Flame Swordsman, except itself, basically. Uh, next effect is when an attack is declared involving a Fire Warrior monster you control, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. And then when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets Flame Swordsman or a monster that mentions it, you control, negate that effect. So, again, like this is Rota. So if you open two, then in your first... Uh, you, and you can play, play around roll with this so you can go draw phase effect add add fighting flame tournament and then you can just go and play from there and this deck does i think will struggle against cards like draw but um i'll probably just play cross outs or something like that um and then obviously you could set the second one for your opponent's turn for if they try to imperm your ultimate flame swordsman or anything like that you can negate it so really really cool Oh, I had a little yawn then, a bit tired. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. Uh, it has multiple effects and it's just, yeah. Like, just just what more can you say? Like, they actually got some good cards. Unlike Red Eyes Black Dragon that just gets crap cards, like, outrageous. So this is another one that's probably like a one or a two of, but it is quite good. Um, target one fire, fire monster on the field, equip this card to it as an equipped card that gives it 700 attack. Then you can change one effect monster on the field to face down defense position. So notice how it says target one fire monster on the field. So you can actually equip this to your opponent's um, 
fire king cards and then just flip them so that they can't so they can't um, use them and then when this will go to the graveyard so you'll be able to use it second effect which is you can banish this card from your graveyard fusion summon one fire warrior or one or dragon fusion monster from your extra deck by shuffling its materials from your hand field and or graveyard into the deck but destroy it during the end phase so again this is a pretty cool card um, banishing it helps you re like with recursion a little bit because you're shuffling your materials back it is annoying that it says destroy it during the end phase i think that's a bit harsh a bit shit but um, again this is a book of moon and a fusion card so really good um big fan and then the final card before we wrap this up if a monster is special summoned well, if a monster is special summoned, special summon one level seven or lower fusion monster from your extra deck that is flame swordsman or mentions it. Then you can change one face up monster on the field to the face down defense position. So this is again, another book of moon. During your opponent's battle phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard and tribute one face down defense position monster. Special summon one flame swordsman or one monster that mentions it from your deck or extra deck. So, I think this would have been really cool if it was like another quick play or something, but because it's a trap, I don't really think it helps much. Maybe you could play like one of each, so like one of this and one of this. Um, but again, this seems like a real OTK deck, so if you play the pure build, then maybe it's not great. But if you play like Swordsman with like a few Infernobles to like beef it up a little bit, then maybe 1-1 one, one would be perfect. Um, I will try it out, I will test it, because again, this is... a you can special summon flame swordsman again from your deck like that and then you can book a moon something um, and then again during the battle phase you can banish this card from your graveyard tribute one face down defense position monster so you can tribute your own so you can tribute your opponent's monsters yeah so you can tribute your opponent's monster to special summon a flame swordsman or a monster that mentions it so that again is really cool so you could do that and then maybe that's the, the way to get this out because this mentions flame swordsman yeah so you could actually um activate this summon a flame swordsman from your deck book of moon one of their cards and then if they go to battle phase if it's still on the field you can then banish this card uh tribute their face down monster and then you can bring out another flame swordsman so you could maybe bring out like uh you could bring out this because they might be about to attack into your fusion so your fusion because you already have a flame swordsman on the field so they'd have to get rid of this first and then that but it's 2800 attack so it's pretty good um or you can just bring out fighting flame swordsman and then add something for next turn so yeah maybe maybe as like a cheeky little one-off um would be pretty cool yeah, let me know what you got, how you guys are going to play it. Um, I've rambled on for a bit too long there, but let me know how you guys are going to play it. Are you going to play it with the Infernobles? Are you going to play it pure? Um, again, I am so excited for this deck. Um, I've pre-ordered everything. £60. Not even not even phased by it. Don't care. £60. Everyone was saying I was getting ripped off but at Locals, but if it turns up on Thursday and I get to play it Thursday, then... It's a win in my book. So really, really excited for it. There's going to be so much content for this coming coming out. There will be combos. There will be deck profiles. There will be... I'll, I might even take my camera and then maybe try and record locals. Um, so yeah, keep in tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section how you're going to play the deck. And I'll see you in the next video.